all right people welcome back to another video all right guys so today just going to show you guys how to get a lot more frames in any game you're playing not any but most of any game you're playing and this is with the loss of the scaling app update came out a couple uh weeks ago recently so it's been on the internet since then and it's been rocking the internet since then right so this is basically a uh, frame generation and it boosts your frame rate give you an overall better experience while playing any game the game i'll be using today is hell divers 2 because out of the box when you're playing at higher resolution the frame rate is kind of low i also showed lossless scaling on my legion go but i want to just give you a rundown on the aces rogue ally as well one thing different i'm doing on the aces rogue ally i'll be changing the scaling type right but if you've never heard of this app you just gotta go to steam once you get to steam you go to the store and then you could download it from the store you go to the store you type lossless i already got it right here and then you could download it and it's 6.99 seven dollars us that seven dollars will be the best seven dollars you you spent since you got the aces rogue ally right i'm trust me so this is the best thing to use right now until aces actually release the amf for the rogue ally so that i get a better smooth experience right but this app right here works wonderfully i'm telling you guys so when you download it it'll be like this you want to leave scaling mode on auto aspect ratio like that here this is what i change i've been rocking with amd fsr this boosts your fidelity by a lot and then you can mess with the scaling i bring down scaling a little bit because it let my game look too sharp when it's all the way up right but it's based off of your preference when you go on the right side you want to scroll down and you want to see draw fps you want to make that make sure that's on because if this is not on you won't be seeing the frames you're getting from the frame generation so you want to make sure that's on and then you could also turn on your fps tracker on your acer ally because that would actually show the fps you're getting but then lossless scaling draw fps will show you all the frame generations you're getting right but have them both on if you want and you can move the aces rogue Life frame tracker over to the right and you can see what's going on and what you're actually getting and what you're getting from the frame generation as i said before scaling type i'm using fsr because this boosts your fidelity by a lot it gives me a better it makes the game look sharper and better and clearer you could leave it off and rock it like that and you get a lot more frames but with this amd fsr takes away a little bit of your frames because it's more processing power but it's worth it I am getting around like 60, 50 around there, and that's good enough for this game, guys. If you go to manual, it will show you all the stuff like the how you should run the game. First, it's saying run the game in Windows or full screen borderless. So that's what you should be running it in to get the best experience. You want to make sure in here you want to switch this to 720p, and then in game you switch it to 720p as well, and then you should be up and running, guys. All right, once the game opens up. There's a few stuff in here you want to mess with. All right, so first, let me show you. I'm on my 720p, and I'm also on 25 watts. I could go to 30 if I plug my my charge directly into the system, but I have my adapter, so that's that. You want to go to settings, then you go to display, go down, run the scaling. You can put it on balance. It's a better option. And want to make sure display mode is on borderless. If I go to graphics, you can see my graphics is on high. On a regular day, I will put it on low because it's better. It will get a smooth experience right now. My true FPS right here, as you can see on the top, is 46. But I'm not doing anything. Once I get into game, it will drop to like maybe like 30, 20, or something like that. Let me get into a game, then I'll show you what's going on with frame gen on and frame gen off, right? Alright, so as you can see, top, I'm getting 36 when I'm on high. That's the FPS I'm getting right now. This, without, this is without frame gen. 36, 37. Still playable, even without frame gen, but you see a difference once I turn frame gen off. Turn it on. All right, so let's turn it on now. Once you go into the frame app, turn it on, scaling, close out. You're going to see the screen go dim for a little bit. And you can see in the top left over here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's saying 64, 62, 72. And then that's the actual frame generation you're getting from frame gen. 60 and it's fluctuating between 60 and 70, guys. And what you're actually getting from the device itself is 33. So those frame gen, and it's, you can feel the difference as well. Smoother. And everything 
don't know if you guys could see the number in the top left. Probably zoom in so you can see it better. But you can feel the difference, guys. So you can also play an ultra and then get a smoother experience, better quality of the game itself. As I said, you could play without FSR as well and upscaling, turn it on and off. And then you actually could see the difference as well. Yeah, a lot, little bit more FPS out of it as well. Let me turn off um, FSR and see. You're probably not going to be able to see it on the camera. So let me unscale it, turn it off, then scale it again. Go back in here. All right, so now, it's, now FSR is off, right? But you have to you have to have the game in hand for you to see the difference. Cause I definitely see the difference. It's it's kind of a little bit more blurrier than before. FPS is a little more a little bit more stable as well. Up more up in the seventies. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. You can try with FSR, FSR off, but I recommend you play with it on because the the difference is better. It's noticeable. You can see the difference. But yeah, that's basically it. That's what I want to show you. I already showed this on my Legion Go, and people have been loving it since then. So that seven dollars you won't be spending, it's gonna be a great investment, man. I'm telling you. So do that. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you have this already in your system, if you like it, if you don't like it, if it's working for you, or if it's not working for you. Just drop a comment down below, guys, and let me know what you think. And yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in, and remember to always say, guys, health is wealth, peace and love. I'm out, guys. <laughs>